I think what struck me as I was watching this film was the amount of evidence that you've even been able to bring together just in this film. Now, it, when it comes to the ICC prosecution's applications for arrest warrants, so of course this is, the prosecution has submitted applications, um, submitted all the evidence that they're relying upon, and it's now before the judges, the pretrial chamber, to consider that evidence and whether or not to issue those arrest warrants. Um, we don't know exactly the extent of that evidence. That's not public. It's been submitted confidentially to the judges. But what I can say from watching this film, that if, you know, just from what you've been able to bring together, and also from what I've seen that ICJP has uh, been able to gather in their investigative unit, it's an enormous amount of evidence uh, that speaks to these crimes, that speaks to uh, violations of these very um, fundamental principles um, that, you know, I, I could go through in, in length of intentional attacks on civilians, on civilian property and infrastructure, about using uh, starvation and the blockade of humanitarian aid and medical supplies. Uh, to the civilian population as a method of warfare, and then flowing from that, uh, using it as a, a method of collective punishment as well. And, um, you know, the prosecution has even brought it to uh, assert the crime of uh, extermination uh, as uh, in the context of starvation. Just even those are reflected in, in the information, the evidence, uh, the testimonies, the statements even from the perpetrators that we saw in this film and that I've also seen ICJP um, putting together as well. Do you have any idea what, why it's taking so long um, with those ICC warrants? I think it's a question on everybody's minds. Um, historically at the ICC, there's always this process of applying for arrest warrants and the judges consider it. But what we've seen in the past is that for other arrest warrant applications, the time frame is usually about a month. You know, we are going on for four and a half months now, and I, th I think it is something that's worrisome, particularly because the ICC, one of the goals is deterrence. Um, and you know, the longer that we have these delays and um, there isn't a decision on these arrest warrants, it uh, prevents that goal of the court as a court of last resort uh, being a deterrent effect to the continuations of crimes that we see every day uh, continue to happen.